before I read the scripture, Amos chapter 6, Brother Copeland, I was flying home from a meeting, and I had come out of a glorious meeting. I had just been, me and Cruffalo Dollar were preaching, had a glorious meeting. So I was, for lack of a better way to say it, I was spiritually high. I said, people yeah. were saved, yeah. touched, and blessed. Got in the plane that God so graciously gave us, and we're flying home. As I was going home, the Lord, real quickly, he said, Jesse, do you like your plane? Now, you know, I thought that's an odd statement. He gave, I said, well, certainly, Lord. He said, do you really like it? And I thought, well, yes, Lord. He said, then he said this, so that's it? I didn't know how to handle that for me. I went, what? He said, you're going to let your faith stagnate? And when he said that, that shocked me. I went, whoa, wait. I literally unbuckled my seatbelt, my plane. I stood up. My pilots looked around and said, do you need something? I said, no, no, I'm talking to God right now. Not in your life. <laughs> and he went back to flying. I said, Lord, I don't think I was letting my faith stagnate. He said, so this is all I could ever do. No. I said, you want, you, you're you trying to tell me something. He said, go to the book of Amos. So if you had the book of Amos, I want to read that, the scripture. May I right interrupt now. you there yes, for sir. a second? Mm -hmm. You couldn't have done that on an airliner. No, sir. No way. Stand up and say, what'd you say, Lord? No. Okay, no, yeah. And the guy sitting over there saying, what the hell does he think he's doing? <laughs> you can't do you that. You can't do that. No, no. That, this, this is so important. And those of you that are, that are just now coming into these things, um, in, in the first place, Jesse and, 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 and I and, and others, Keith Moore and Creflo and all of us. You and what army? The world is in such a shape. We can't get there without this. That's right. We've got to have this. We would have the mess that the airlines no. are in today. I would have to stop. I'm being very conservative. At least 75 to 80, more like 90% of mm -hmm. what we're doing, because you can't get there and from here. It's impossible. So we, we ha and, and this was such a good illustration. I just, mm -hmm. the, the, the Lord impressed me. That's why we're on that airplane. We can talk to oh, God. Glory we to can, God. We, it's, true. We, it, it's when I was flying for Oral Roberts, the uh, brother DeWeese, my, my mm -hmm. boss on the airplane, he said, now, Kenneth, this is sanctuary. It protects the anointing on, on uh, uh, Brother Roberts. And he said, you keep your mouth shut. Don't talk to him unless he talks. Because when he's on a meeting, he doesn't talk to anybody but God. Now, Oral used to fly airlines. Right. But it, even back mm -hmm. there then, man, mm -hmm. it, it got to the place where it was agitating his spirit. Sure. People coming up to him. He right. had become famous and they wanted him to pray for him and right. all that. You, you can't. You, you can't manage that today. Right. The, this dope-filled world. Right. And get in, an air, get in a long tube with a bunch of demons. Right. That's exactly the And it, it's deadly. And, and it works on your heart. It really does. So I, anyway, right. I, I wanted to make that clear so the devil can't lie to you and say, see there, them preachers spending yeah. all that money. Just, just. Get in a long tube with a bunch of demons. Right. That's exactly the truth. And it's, it's deadly. What's wrong with you people?